Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Game Theory, the Minecraft Warden solved with Dream by the Game Theorists. Now, they're doing a theory with Dream, and honestly, this was inevitable at some point. I mean, you know, they were facing against each other on that Mr. Beast thing, and literally everyone went nuts over it on Twitter. But yeah, I'm honestly not surprised. But again, I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if he was barely in this and you know they just put him in the title for clickbait but honestly that's fine that's fine if he's in this for a little then like yeah okay it's understandable why they put his name in the title you know if he's not in the in this at all then like that just seems yeah that seems like major clickbait but i mean if he's just in this for a little bit i wouldn't be surprised if they just put him in the title anyways but yeah honestly the warden is a mysterious mob the fact that they he, I don't know, they find you based on sound, like the shulks, uh, the skulk, what's it called, the like, skulk, shulk, I don't know, the something sensor, the skulk sensor, or whatever, like, I like the idea of the skulk sensor, and, you know, the, the way, the thing is, is that that's the way that, you know, that he basically finds you as he hears you, that's actually really cool, honestly. The fact that, like, he hears you with sound, that is really cool. Honestly, I like that idea for a mob. But, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, we're using some description. Make sure subscribe to the game. Here's the thing. So, some description. Anyways, let's get right into it. Hmm. Is the warden gonna show up? Oh! What? Is this, like, a Halloween intro? Why, why is Hero Brian there? Wait, what? Oh, the warden. I hear it. Oh! There's an actual Hello, jump scare. Welcome All right. to Game Theory, the show that just keeps picking away at the hidden lore of Minecraft. Yeah. Let's face it, Minecraft isn't one of those games that explicitly tells you what's going on. Instead, it implies well, its no. lore through world design, oh. spawn behavior, yeah, sound true, effects, and character true. appearances, all for investigators like us to uncover. A perfect okay. example of this true. implicit lore came during Minecraft Live's reveal of the game's upcoming Caves, Caves and Cliffs, cliffs. update. When the team I heard they already made a patch about the cliffs, the so there's goats. To date, the war. What did we just see? Oh, the warden is scary. Tell us what's going on with the warden, but you only need to take one look at its chest and the souls that are trapped inside to tell that there's a story. Oh, what? This guy. Ordinarily, I'd wait until the warden was actually in the game so we could get the full picture of what its behavior and spawn conditions are like before we begin theorizing, but we've already got ourselves wow. a ton of information wow. to work right. with here. I'm gonna pause it here. Wow. I guess that's quick. I mean, yeah. I mean, that kind of shows that he really has an idea of what, what this thing could be, you know, before it's even out. Like, that actually shows. But the fact that he said, like, oh, the souls, I'm like, oh, is this guy, like, is he going to theorize that? I don't know. I don't know what he's going to say. Is he going to theorize that, theorize that, you know, he ate some souls or, like, I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm guess I, I feel like he's gonna go on like about the ancient builders and like the fact that like there's souls and yeah like ba based on what he's theorized in the past I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, just look at this thing. The green texture of its skin is practically identical Ooh, to the material he's right. used for end portal blocks. This end portal, mob is yeah. practically begging for a theory. Mm, so you could say it's sort of an hey. unsolved mystery. Uh, you could. I like how he made the eye Why in his chest wink. A big neon green block creature in my video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dream. I'm a Minecraft speedrunner. I love talking about unsolved mysteries of Minecraft from time oh, to time. Oh yeah, I'm he does do some videos. Running away from some hunters and I wound up in the wrong seed. And don't knock the green. I've seen your thumbnails you're a minecraft <laughs> your early true yeah memes called they want their stick boys back says the guy who is literally a dancing cardboard cutout touche so should we just end the awkward justification of why we're collaborating i kind of like how they're making fun of each other that's probably a good idea let's let's end the cringe oh <laughs> when you're here the cringe never ends i just simultaneously whipped and nade-aid thanks editors like i said so even though the caves and cliffs update adding the wardens to the game isn't expected to come out until summer of 2021, almost a year from now, we already know a lot about these guys. For starters, this new warden mob was introduced alongside another new feature coming to the cave. Yeah, biome, the skulk, the skulk, a yeah, skulk sensor. Growth that appears in deep caves. As demonstrated in the gameplay reveal, the skulk's most interesting feature is that it can sense sounds. According to what we've been told, the skulk can detect footsteps, projectiles, and blocks being placed. And wool, which is presumed
presumably soft enough to insulate any vibrations, can prevent it from reacting. This actually gives us a behavioral oh, okay. connection between the Skulk and the Warden. The Warden is blind, meaning that it senses players by- I do kind of like how Dream is here. It Just makes like it more interesting. Does. Add that to the fact that the Warden and Skulk are found together in caves and share a very similar visual design, and it feels like the Warden might be some sort of naturally occurring creature. Maybe something oh, maybe... grew out of Yeah, the maybe it's skulk, a mutated maybe Skulk. skulk evolved. Possibly, maybe it, but I maybe wouldn't be so quick evolve. to jump to that conclusion. When asked about whether the Warden and Skulk are part of the same species, developer Brandon Pierce said this, quote, they're made of the same stuff at the very least. Eyeball emoji. That seems like a highly dodgy answer. Were they yeah. made that way by Mother Nature? Or is he implying that the Warden is perhaps a creature that was made through more artificial means? Perhaps by an ancient race the of ancient builders builder? that harvested yeah. Skulk and found a way to use it in their contraptions. Uh, that seems like a bit of a stretch. I actually don't think I'm overanalyzing this. Viewers of this channel know uh, that we've gathered a lot of evidence. I'm glad how Dream years, says that in the theory. The like, eh, it seems a bit of a stretch. A, game, a civilization that built temples and mines long ago and then was forced to abandon them all for some unknown yeah. reason. So we have a good idea that they existed. And going back to the design detail that immediately caught my eye about the Wardens, you look at the Warden's chest and find that where you'd expect to see a beating heart, you instead see caged souls. Souls plural. I don't know of many natural But how do you know their souls, though? Souls. It's highly Go on. suggestive of an origin that involves being created somehow by creators who are perhaps harnessing souls as an energy source. And in case you think that I'm extrapolating too much from that little visual detail, it was once again confirmed by Minecraft gameplay oh, okay. Brandon Pierce, who, when asked about the Warden's blue chest patch on Twitter, responded with, quote, I can't confirm anything, but it definitely sounds like a heartbeat, and the texture is definitely reminiscent of souls. And in case you missed it when we talked about it oh, earlier on this channel, okay. this year's Minecraft Dungeons oh, yeah. specifically confirmed Minecraft that certain Dungeons. items in the Minecraft franchise are built with literal souls that are being used as an energy source. Or, as the official Twitter account put it, quote, a true adventurer puts their soul into everything they do, and the truest adventurers put other people's souls into Oh, in it yeah. Too. In that episode, we concluded that the Vex that evokers create are comprised of souls, and that opens the door to other sorts of artifacts officially created mobs also built from souls, hence the Warden. So you're saying that the Warden mob might be some sort of artificial construct made using soul sand? Yeah, I think so. I mean, looking across well, all my past theories yeah. in this game, there's one- To be honest, to be honest, I feel like I, I don't think Dream's gonna deny anything in that. He's just gonna ask questions and then, you know, let Map Pack talk. Cause you know, I feel like he doesn't want to deny the theory or anything. I mean, yeah, because there's obvi I can tell there there's obviously a script to this. But I wouldn't be surprised if I'm hoping that is the case where they teamed up or something and like wrote the script rather than like, you know, Matt Pat writing the script and then having like Dream read the certain lines. Because then it just seems like, okay, you're just not letting Dream like add that much and it's more of like your writing I guess theme that keeps appearing experiments with the creation of life when you look at the design yeah. and story details of the various mobs throughout Minecraft it all ties back to this recurring quest to become almost like God with power over life and death I've done major episodes looking into all this but based on the evidence the illagers oh, yeah, here, have been booted out of the villager society because they were experimenting with creating life the iron golem seemed to be an early stepping stone of some ancient race trying to create Create sentient creatures. The wither itself seems oh, to be yeah, the villagers are the same life using soul sand. And the list goes on for lots of other mobs. And so the warden being this oh, combination pig, of skull and texture. souls feels like it would be a natural extension to all of this. It was created, it was built, but built for what? That's the question. Well, it's probably related to what you mentioned before. The wardens appear to be made of the same stuff as end portal blocks. I mean, I'd yeah. recognize that eerie shade of green anywhere. So if these wardens were artificially constructed, it might have happened at around the same time that the end portals themselves were being built. Plus, look at their name. Remember that end portals are found in strongholds, a place fortified so as to protect it. And then there's a the warden. Now, They're called the warden. The warden. These days, the most common use of the word warden is when talking about prison wardens, the supervisors. Oh, the purple guy. Keeping people in a secured structure. But the term warden actually has a much more general meaning too. A person charged with the care or supervision of persons, animals, or things. A keeper. Maybe they were. Now he's just reading off the definition. 
surprise or protect the end portals. Huh, that's a pretty good observation. Oh, maybe, uh, yeah. That you ate your cat's poop. Well, I can't really defend myself there, can I? <laughs> but you're totally right. The name Don't bring his troll tweets into this. As well as the color palette and the design. Heck, even the fact that both wardens and strongholds are found in the deepest layers of the overworld. All of it implies some sort of relationship. You know, my exploration in the lore of Minecraft started with the Enderman. And what I found in that first episode is what convinced me that there is actual lore in this game. In that theory, I concluded that the Endermen are actually an ancient race of builders who, eons ago, created end portals inside of strongholds in an attempt to flee the overworld. Yeah, Only you already kind of said this at the beginning. One -way trip. The Endermen we see today are the descendants of those ancient builders who, through a combination of evolution and a chorus fruit diet, have become almost unrecognizable, except for their ability to pick up and carry blocks and a few choice vocal lines. When creating oh, yeah. a stronghold, it would have made sense. I can't believe that's my most viewed some reaction. Kind of to be guard honest. to hold down the fort. After all, what good is a stronghold if you have no one to protect it against invaders? That is a good theory. That it's a guard Enjoy, for the strongholds. Uh, also, only a small percentage of people that watch videos <laughs> subscribe. So if nice. you like this video, consider subscribing. Okay, Before that's you, a good bit. That's mind. a good Enjoy bit. Because, you know. Not exactly what I was going for, but seamless save, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, I think all so of this is a pretty compelling picture. Good joke. After creating the overworld villages and the but Yeah, it's like the guardians the for the sea temples. Their pursuits. They experimented with all sorts of things, including experimenting with constructs made using souls. This kind of experiment experimentation is what would eventually unleash the horror that is the wither but it's also what gave rise to their automaton buddy the warden built with the same material that automaton? they were using when they constructed the end portal blocks which why is it the four by four by four why is it from the underworld yeah, why is it four by four left through those end portals expecting to return shortly after leaving the warden as a line of defense against anyone who might try to follow them but they never returned and the wardens believing that their masters had abandoned them wandered away they ventured deeper and deeper underground finding a bio more more suited creatures that were created to exist in the dark, where they exist to this day, waiting for us to stumble. But yeah, wait, how That's come the Skulk Sensor and them are related? Lot, like the Warden's name and why it seems to have multiple souls in its chest. That's definitely a possibility. But I've been doing research, and it's also possible the Skulk somehow creeped and crawled until it came into contact with Soul Sand and found a way to harness the energy of those souls to True. naturally spawn the Warden. Sure, I mean, the idea of a plant-like growth somehow doing this seems a bit far-fetched, and it wouldn't really match with the the warden name, but it's definitely possible. According to developer Brandon Pierce, you could definitely, definitely argue is. that the Skulk in general is sentient. Happy face. It's weird that he says the Skulk is sentient in general. Like, could all the Skulk we see be part of some sort of hive mind with the wardens in charge or representing what happens when Ooh. it gets some soul sand? Or what about a different possibility? Maybe the Skulk attached itself to an iron golem. In the iron golem's base model, we see that they're covered with vine growth. What if vines weren't the only plant-like growth that decided to make an Ooh. iron golem their home? Could the Skulk so they could be iron golems? Take over an iron golem? It's not a bad thought. They could be iron golems? Twitter, the Skulk is bigger and more massive than the golem. And it's even more powerful, but still possessing the same long Oh, arms. yeah, no. And the the warden seems really scary. The connection back to the end portal blocks, which is why my money's on it being an artificial creation by some ancient race. TLDR, I'm just really excited to dive into this update once it's finally out. It oh, yeah. It does seem like Mojang has been putting more time into the lore department these days. So this isn't one of those days where we get to say that we solved the mystery of the war yeah the true it's something that we'll have to do together but in the title it says solve i wanted to start having this conversation in the title it says solve it's something that we all have to look forward to but it's also something that i think we should keep in mind as we continue to explore other parts of the minecraft lore Ooh, okay this is this is the part where you say the thing right you made it to the end of the video which means that you liked it and should therefore subscribe no 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 the other thing you know the, what but hey that's just a theory wow that was uh that was worse than your answers in the mr beast tournament I oh still technically finished ahead of you galaxy brain only because you were voted back he did eh, technicality oh now they're just arguing about that loser thanks for coming on and you know what it his answers were pretty bad say, though to be honest hey that's just a theory a, a game. game theory yep thanks for watching and uh good luck right. with those hunters over there oh wait dream come here dream wait are we on game theory Okay, I do kind of like that ending. That's a that's a cool ending. Honestly, I do like this collab. I think the collab between them is really cool. Like, I think I think this was actually pretty cool. It, it definitely isn't what I thought. I think I think Dream did actually have something to add to it because I I really did kind of feel like you know.
I, I, I had a feeling that it, it seemed like that. It was written that way. Like, oh, they... Like, it's really only Game Theory's theory, and then, like, Dream is just kind of just playing along. But no, it seems like he actually added something to it. I I do like the theory that they are sort of an Iron Golem growing on them, or even, like, you know, the Skulk sensor just grew into it. I, I don't know about the whole... I mean, yeah, it does kind of make sense with the whole Warden name and the fact that, it, yeah, that does kind of make sense that they'd be guards for the strongholds, but it really doesn't explain how they'd be connected to the Skulk stuff, unless you could say that the ancient builders, I mean, I guess, ha like, combining Skulk with Soul Sand, yeah, like, that that's how they created them, I guess. Like, I guess you could say the ancient builders, like, found, like, dug deeper and found, like, more stuff in the caves, and then that's how they created the Warden. Like, I guess you could say that, to be honest, but... Yeah, honestly, overall, this was a pretty decent theory, and I, I actually didn't mind it. I did kind of like Dreams and in Inclusion. I also like the reference to the Mr. Beast thing and also the, the Hunters thing. That was cool. Honestly, I do actually like this video. It, it was a pretty good theory, uh, a pretty good video and a good theory. So, uh, yeah, honestly, I, I can't wait to see what more theories they have on, like, the Warden or even the new update, honestly. But yeah, anyways, guys, I'm Joy Lubak, maybe you're just coming channel. See you in the next one. Bye!